Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have defined what is an ambiguous grammar and also explained that concept with an example. I hope you have watched that video. If you have not watched that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to take two examples of the context free grammars and want to verify them whether they are ambiguous or not okay now what is an ambiguous grammar a given grammar if i can generate a string while generating the string from the given grammar if i find more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation or more than one parse tree then i can say that the given grammar is ambiguous grammar Let's check whether this example 1 is ambiguous or not. Now first if it is in a grammar, can we find the what are the non-terminals and the terminals. Okay, what are the non-terminals here? If you take each production, the left hand side, what are the symbols are there? Those symbols we will call them as non-terminals. Capital S, capital A, capital B. And what are the terminals? The remaining symbols which are not non-terminal so if you see the right hand side you have a and b which are the non-terminals small a small a b is there small a is not a non-terminal so it will be a terminal okay and similarly small b is there which is a terminal okay are you able to understand why what is the need of the terminals identification because whenever we are generating a string we have to finally have the terminals in the string. Am I right? Small a and small b are the alphabets in the long ways L. Okay. In that, then what are the strings possible in the long ways? We have to check. Okay. Now, if alphabets are a comma b, then what is the string possible? Let me take a string called a a b. Whether a a b string is possible from this grammar? Yes, I can say that it is maybe possible because alphabets A comma B is there. So with those alphabets only, I find a, some string. I need to check whether it is can be generated from the given grammar or not. If, if it is generated, how many parse trees are there? If more than one parse tree is there to generate the given string from the given grammar, I can say that it is an ambiguous grammar. I hope you have understood. Let me discuss again. First, you need to find what are the non-terminals and what are the terminals. Using the terminals, you find some string. Means the combination of the terminals, you find a some string. First, you need to check whether the string can be generated or not. If it is generated, how many parse trees are possible? You can check how many leftmost derivations, how many rightmost derivations, how many parse trees. So, I will go with the parse trees. Okay. Now, we will check it. So, what is the root of a parse tree? The start symbol. What is the start symbol from the given grammar? S is the start symbol. So, from S, I, I want to generate A, A, B. So, from S, I can derive capital A, capital B or small A, small A, B. So, I want A, A, B. So, A, A is coming here. So, I will go for A, A, B. Okay, so I got the two terminals which are required in the string. Now, what is the from B I can determine? I can determine small b. So, if I yield the parse tree from the root, terminals, terminals and terminals to the root, I will get the string which is a, a, b. That is what the requirement. Now, we will see if there is any other possibility or not. From the start symbol, yes. I can determine capital A, capital B using this production. S yes, determines A, B. From A, what I will do is that I can determine small a or capital A, small a. So, I will determine capital A, small a. From A, I can determine small a. From B, I can determine small b. If you yield this parse tree, again you will get a string called A, A, B. Now, from the given grammar G, to derive a string A, A, B, we got two parse trees. Means we got more than one parse tree. 
So can you tell me what is this grammar is called? The grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. Am I clear or not? This is the way you need to check. You can ask me sir with the one string only you find. But how you got it? With the practice. Is it clear? Maybe one string you are getting only one part string. Am I right? You need to find such a string. Okay. You will do it slowly. You will do it. Don't worry. See first time when you are taking a one string. Maybe one part string is only possible. You need to check such a string. Where for which it has more than one part string. Not always possible. If it is an ambiguous grammar. Then you need to find such a string. For a string it consists of more than one part string. Okay. If let's take that. From this grammar, let's take that I am generating 100 strings. You can have a doubt. Let's take that I am able to generate 100 string. If 99 strings, for 99 strings, only one part string is possible. For one string out of this 100 string, two part strings are there or three part strings are there. Anything is there. Then what I can say the grammar? Still I can say that it is an ambiguous grammar. So, I need to find that one string. Is it clear? This is not a very simple task. I am just giving an example. From this grammar, let's take that I can derive 100 string. For 99 strings, it is generating only one part string. For only one string, you got two part strings. Still, I can say the given grammar is ambiguous grammar. So, it is your duty to find such string for which more than one part string is possible. Are you able to understand? For all hundred strings, if you get only one part string, then what I can say? I can say that it is unambiguous grammar. Meaning is that for every string which can be derived from this given grammar, for while you are deriving it, if you get only one leftmost derivation or one rightmost derivation or only one part string, then I can say that it is unambiguous grammar. Is it clear? Now let me discuss another example for better understanding. I have taken second grammar S determines AS, BS or BS, AS or Epsilon. Can you tell me what are the non-terminals here? The non-terminals are left hand side symbols. What is the left hand side symbol? Capital S is there. Okay, what is the terminals here? The symbols other than the non-terminals which are there in the right hand side of a production. Small a is there, small b is there and epsilon is there. Am I right? Here small a, small b is there and you also have the epsilon. So these are the terminals. What is the start symbol? What is the start symbol here? Yes, is the start symbol. Now once you got the terminals, you need to find a string which is possible over these terminals. What is that? Let me take A, B, A, B. Okay. A, B, A, B string. Is it possible over this terminal? Yes. A comma B are the and epsilon is also there. These are the terminals. Okay. If these are the terminals, I can find a string. Now, first thing I need to check. Can I determine or can I derive the string? from this grammar. If I can determine or I can derive the string from the given grammar, how many parse trees I am getting. If I get more than one parse tree, I can say that the given grammar is ambiguous grammar. Let's check it. Okay. So what is, the, let me write this one on the top so that I can explain it properly. A, B, A, B. Okay. Now, what is the start symbol? Yes. So root will consist of capital S. From yes, I can determine AS, okay, BS. Is it clear? Are you able to understand AS, BS I can determine? Now you can ask me, sir, why you have not taken S yes, determines BS, AS? Because if I take this BS, AS, let's take that. If I take the BS, AS, then always the strings will be starting with B. But this string I am want to start from the A. The string is starting from A. So that's why I am taking. So you should be checking while you are deriving. 
which production you want to take you need to check it okay are you able to understand it or not why i have taken this production a s b s now from this s i can again determine okay b s a s are you able to understand it or not because i want to get a b now if you see that i got the a b now what i will do in this place of s i can keep the epsilon in this place of s i will keep the epsilon from s i will determine epsilon let's see what is the parse tree is generating okay how i will do it i will have to go for the yielding of the parse tree how i will yield the parse tree start from the root go to the left okay if you are finding any terminal write it okay then write it epsilon write it a is write it epsilon write it b write it epsilon write it then you went to the root node so you need to start from the root node traverse from left to right okay whenever you are getting a terminals write them now if you check it it a b epsilon a epsilon b epsilon what i can say if i see that a epsilon what is the meaning a concatenation with epsilon is equal to a will you agree with me or not those who have watched my toc which is theory of computation or flat videos then they can easily say that sir you already explained several examples a concatenation with epsilon is a is it clear okay so with this one what i can say from this one i got the a b and a epsilon a is a then i got the b so a b a b is the given string i could able to derive using this grammar we will check whether this is the only way is possible or not okay let me erase this one so that i can use this space to find the next parse tree okay i will start from the s okay which is the start symbol i want to generate a b a b so i will use the production called a s b s is it clear are you able to understand it or not a s b s previously i have used this s and determine the bs as now i will check i will use this s to determine bs as is it possible from this s also i can determine now if you see that in place of this s i can write the epsilon s determines the epsilon okay in place of this s i will write the epsilon in place of this s i will write the epsilon let's check what is the string it is determining start from the start symbol write the a epsilon write it whenever you get a terminal write that one okay b is it clear are you able to understand a b epsilon okay then a is it clear epsilon then this now if you check it what is the string it is generating it is generating a b b a this is the string we want we don't want this string am i right okay now we need to determine whatever the string i want to see are you able to understand when you are determining like this you got a string called a b b a is this string i want to determine no i don't want to determine so now we will generate the another parse tree because this is the string i don't want i want the string called a b a b so let me check it so this is the way you have to try it okay start symbol s again determine a s b s are you able to understand it or not okay now you got the a b now you want again a b so how you will get the a b again you write here okay a s b s you write it are you able to understand it or not okay in place of this s you write the epsilon in place of s you write the epsilon in place of this s you write the epsilon 
again you you will this part stream what you will get you check it you will get a a write it you will get an epsilon you write it you got the b write it you got the a write it epsilon b epsilon so what you are generating you are generating a string called a b a b which is required for us now if you check it from the given grammar while i am deriving the string called a b a b i got more than one parse tree check it whether these two parse trees are equal or not sometimes we get more than one parse tree but both the parse tree look same but here these two parse trees are different how from this s i have determined b s a s but from this s i have determined a s b s so these two parse trees are different and generating the same string from the given grammar so what i can say about this grammar this grammar i can say it as a ambiguous grammar are you able to understand so i hope you have understood what is an ambiguous grammar and how to check with these two examples if you still have any doubts related to this concept or if you have a grammar and you are in a confusion whether it is ambiguous or unambiguous grammar you write those grammars in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day